What is up guys, Craig here, coming back at you another YouTube Air Force video. In today's video I'm just going to go over my 45 day briefing. Um, as I promised you guys I would, I know this video is a little late, but um, as you can see from behind me, this mess in my room, I have boxes everywhere, and uh, it's actually one of the past videos I made about um, you know all uh, tips and tricks for packing for boot camp and tech school. Um, a little tip, a little uh, inside. Um, I'm going to be making another video on what I'm actually packing inside my BMT um, little duffel bag and I might do one for my tech school uh, suitcase just to show you guys you know section by section what I'm packing you know winter clothes uh, what kind of undergarments I'm packing so on and so forth so just look forward to that video but uh, without further ado let's get into this uh, 45 day briefing and actually the way I did it with uh, my recruiter I actually did all the briefings, my 45 day briefing, my 30 day briefing, and my 5 day briefing, and my final briefing, like I think it's like 5 of them. He's supposed to go back for each one, but my recruiter just wanted to get everything out of the way, and that's what we did. So uh, basically it was just, you know when you first go to your recruiter, and you're going to fill out that sheet, uh, did, you, do you, did you ever do drugs, uh, are you married, or did you ever have law violations, so on and so forth. It's basically just going over that again, just to make sure from the time you met with your recruiter the first time up until now, that none of that has changed. So it's just going to ask you, um, since the first time you met your recruiter, has this changed, has this changed, so on and so forth, and you just have to initial whether yes or no. So it's going to ask, uh, have you received any law violations? You initial in the no. Hopefully you didn't receive any. Uh, if you did, I'm pretty sure that's going to set back your date because then you're going to have to go through a whole other process to get waivers filled out and so on and so forth. So uh, try not to do anything stupid uh, you know, after you get your ship date because that will definitely uh, mess it up and you might get set back you know, a month or two or even a whole year. Uh, who knows? But um, basically, I just went over that. Um, it was about maybe, I want to say, 20 questions. You just initial all that. And... Um, that was pretty much it. I just went over that, and then he, then after I was done initialing them, he went over and he goes, "Are you sure this is all correct?" Uh, "Yes, sir." So on and so forth. And then uh, he went ahead and gave us all these uh, cool things: uh, t-shirts, school bags. Um, what else did he give us? He gave us. Let's get this here. A water bottle. Nice stickers. Put this on my parents' car. Um, I don't know, he gave us a whole bunch of cool things, pens, pencils uh, to give out, a whole bunch of business cards to give out to our friends, see if they want to join. So uh, that's pretty much it. Um, I'm pretty sure that other recruiters do the 45 day briefing a lot different, but uh, that's just the way my recruiter did it. We kind of just went into the office, as I said, he weighed us in, took our height and weight, and we sat down and filled out a piece of paper. So uh, if you guys have gone through your 45 day briefing or your 30 day briefing and so on and so forth and you did it differently, let me know in the comment section below. Uh, if you guys are looking forward to uh, look um, me making a video on what I'm packing in my BMT um, luggage, uh, just let me know in the comment section below. Hit that like button and well, thank you guys for watching. Look forward to my future videos. I'm definitely going to be making that in the next few days because I'm done with school now. And uh, I have a lot of free time. I quit my job and everything. So, you know, that video will be coming in the near future. But uh, thank you guys for watching. And until next time, this is Craig signing off. Peace out, guys.